All right, Shalom. Okay, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Uh, I want to say uh, double honors to my apostles and elders at GMS and uh, to the elect out there doing the work in sincere and in truth. I want to say Shalom. I want to say uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Baha Baka Kodash. Okay? All right, that's um, the Most High, His Son, in the name of His Son. All right? Uh, in, in the Holy Spirit, right? So, um, this is GMS Precepts. My name is Nazar Khad, and I wanted to touch on this book right here. I wanted to go into a little paragraph in this book. It's called Christopher Columbus and the African Holocaust. Slavery, slavery and the Rise of European Capitalism. This is by uh, John Henry Clark. Okay, if you can see that, the title, the author, John Henry Clark. Okay, now this book here, it's got a lot of bones in it, man. You know, it's got a lot of bullshit in it. This dude, he, he refers to uh, the uh, the Israelites that were that were brought over here through slavery. He refers to them as, as Africans, man. Okay, which we're not Africans, man. Okay, through prophecy, we're not Africans. But, um, um, but yeah, I just wanted to read this, this paragraph here because once again, you have an, you have an artifact, you have a document which this is a document that proves this, the Bible, man. This right here just proves the validity of the scriptures and, and how it's true, okay? So basically, the, what I wanted to go into with this paragraph, it speaks about whitewashing, okay? It speaks about Esau, when they came into power, they started to whitewash the images. I'll just read it, man, because this, this is some goodness right here, <laughs> right? So it starts, it says, it was also the period when Spain, it was also the period when Spain regained her sovereignty and drove out her Arab and African colonial masters, collectively called the Moors. So look at that. It, 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 it's, it's, um, it's referring to the African, which we know are the Israelites, the African and the Arab masters. It's uh, uh, it's referring to Spain, which which were at, which were at that which were at that time the Edomites, driving out their 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 Arab and African masters, man, showing you that those people ruled that area at that time, man. All right, which the Moors, if you go into history, the Moors were Israelites that just followed faith of Islam. Okay, so basically, this is the downfall. This is the beginning. This is uh, the beginning of the downfall of of Jake ruling. This is when they started to get taken out of their position of rulership, and this is when Esau, uh, what's known as the, uh, uh, started to uh, control again, or recontrol, or their rebirth, uh, uh, or their renaissance of their kingdom. All right. It says the Spanish were looking for ethnic and religious purity and therefore expel the Jews along with the Arabs and Africans of Muslim faith, okay? Now we know what Jews that's talking about. It's referring to um, the Israelites, man. So they, not only, so they not only kicked out or expelled Israelites, okay? But they, they expel, expelled a so-called Africans, which were Israelites that followed the Muslim faith, <laughs> right? So it says, this is page 75, by the way of this book that I just mentioned. It's uh, chapter seven, I believe. Yeah, Sorrow in a New Land. Chapter seven. Chapter seven, uh, page 74 and 75, right? So it says, this was not only a turning point in the history of Europe, it was a major turning point in the history of the world. This period not only saw the rise of the Atlantic slave trade and the European uh, colonization of, the, of most of the world, Europeans subsequently began to colonize information about the history of the world. So that's why that quote, I can't remember how it, how it says exactly, but the one that rules, wins the war, controls the history, somewhat to that effect, okay? So that's what they did. They started to not only colonize lands, but they colonized or controlled information in history, okay? So here, here's, a, here's a goodness right here. It says they colonized, and I'll read this. Let me, uh, this is a goodness right here. This is when it gets good. It says they colonized complementary images 
and began to infer that whiteness was the image of goodness. Okay, so that's what they did. They they started to. This is this is when they started to what's called as whitewashing images, man. Now, what what images did they did they begin to whitewash? It it goes it goes into that. It says the most tragic aspect of their col colonial uh, colonization of image was the colonization of of the image of God and the characters in the Bible. I, let me read that correctly. It says the most tragic aspect of their colonization of the image of of image was the, their colonization of the image of the Most High or Yahweh and the characters in the Bible, man. So that goes into what Job nine and twenty four, okay? That goes into Job nine and twenty four, okay? They not only um, change images of histori historical figures that were Israelites or, or so-called dark skin, like uh, uh, you know Shakespeare, you know. Um, uh, Beethoven, all those uh, 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 Israelite um, uh, images that were, um, you know, they, they started to change those images. And not only that, they, they attacked the, the Bible also. They attacked the images of the Bible also, like the Most High. Like you got the, the Sistine Chapel over there in Rome. Okay? You got the Most High touching the hand of, of, of Edom. Uh, I'm sorry, Edom. <laughs> you got... The image, a uh, 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 Edomite image of the Most High touching the hand of an Edomite image, I believe, is Adam. Okay. So it says this is, you know what, let me, I'll finish this up. It says this is the period when Europeans began to infer that the world was waiting in darkness for Europeans to bring that light. Now, this is why they refer to that time period as the Dark Ages, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's all a play with words because they want to. They wanna, and that's why they call us black, and they call themselves white because white uh, infers uh, 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 purity, okay? Which we know, according to the history, they're far from purity, man. They they are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. So let me. The first scripture I want to get, obviously, is uh, um, where were you at? Uh. Yeah, wisdom. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, Ecclesiastes, man. I'm sorry. First Maccabees. So like, it's right here. First Maccabees three. First Maccabees three and forty-eight. It says, uh, "This is First Maccabees three and forty-eight. It says, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images, and that's exactly what th these." These these Edomites did, man. Under the rule, I'm sorry. Let me read this first p paragraph. This is a period between. This is a period when some of the conflict between the various factions of the Catholic Church was settled by the marriage of Queen Isabella and Ferdinand of Spain. So it was those two, that, started to control, and colonize information and colonize uh, um, um, images, of characters of the Bible. Okay. So this is something that they did, man, and this is and this proves it right here. I read it again. This is First Maccabees three and forty-eight, a well-known basic scripture, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And why did they do that? They wanted to basically um, uh, uh, pose themselves as the savior to the to to the world, man, and to place themselves in the position of superior 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 superiority. Knowing that, listen, if I place myself as the, as the as the images of, of the Bible, and I have people uh, uh, believe in the Bible, when we go over there and colonize, like what they did over there in, in uh, to to the Americas, when they colonized the, the Native American Indians, they said, look, and when they brought the slaves over here under servitude, under subjection, they said, look, you see this Bible, the man that's referred to as the Most High, that's us. Okay, and you're supposed to be our slaves. So that's just a, a power move, man. Okay, it's it's a it's a way to uh, it's a way. It's another form of control, an another form of white superiority. Look, I'm better than you, so you should do this. You should be our slaves, and and the Most High is with it, because the Most High is, looks like me. Okay.
So that's why they did that, man. And obviously, I'm going to go to Job. I'm going to close it out with Job. Okay? Okay, because all these, all these books, what do they do? They just prove the validity of, of the scriptures. And this is and this and this is no different. Okay? So this is Job 9 verse 24. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is referring to the so-called white race, man, or or the Edomites. Okay? All right? The wicked is referring to the Edomites, the ones that really control and run this planet Earth. Which you got the top rich families of the earth, they are from the tribe of Amalek who can who are you know, the Rothschilds, the, 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 the Rockefellers, the, the Gettys, the, the, the Bilderbergs, those rich, super rich families, man. They are the ones that make the decisions that, uh, you know, that, that uh, run, run the world, okay? Okay? They're the one that starts all the wars and starts all the conflicts. They're the ones that, that uh, start conf conflicts and then provide a solution. Okay? It says... He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? So if, 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 if the Edomites are not the so-called white race, who are the Edomites? It's not the Arabs, man, because they have not covered the faces of the judges. It was these people and they did it purposely. Just like it says here, this is the period when the Europeans began to infer that the world was waiting in darkness for Europeans to bring the light. So they're, they're, they're trying to be like the light givers. Or pose as a light giver. That's why they refer to themselves as what? The Illuminati, man. Which just means light bearer or, or, or illuminated one. Okay? Okay, so I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to bring that little quick fact out. A lot of bones in this fucking book. Like I said, he, this dude, John Henry Henry Clark, who's a Jake, he refers to, uh, let's see if there's a picture of this simple nigga. I don't see no fucking picture. Who, who, he, he basically refers to the slaves as, uh, as Africans, man. You know, but like I said, this is a, you know, I, I picked out this little meaty part of this book. That, that's pretty much it, man. All right. So until the next show, I want to say Shalom.